have you spoken to your rubber ducky? No! Yes, that's my best friend. Let's do a target haul. I love the idea. This is how I live my life. What a donkey. Morning, I just met a guy. I would describe him as a bearded Zeus wielding a cornucopia. And you know what he said to me? He said, do you mind if I wipe in private? Like, I'm sorry, two grown men can't share a toilet stall together? Like, it's 2023, dude. I told you I wasn't gonna film today, and I won't be, but I had this thought. I obviously wake up earlier than the majority, than, than my parents in this case. And I thought, why don't we, on the way home for the gym, just have a drive and we'll have a chat, because I think I'm addicted to doing this. I think I'm addicted just to talking out loud now, which is a little bit odd, isn't it? A little bit odd. Uh, yeah, 60 days in, and I just have all these thoughts, and I want, I find it really therapeutic. <laughs> what a donkey. Just to talk out loud. It's like, in software engineering, we call it, have you spoken to your rubber ducky? Rubber ducky being something that you just sit on your desk and you talk at, and the more you talk through it, the more you figure out your own issues and problems, and then you can work through it. The, you're my rubber ducky but so for the next few days I uh, will do just a driving morning segment I'll bring my camera tomorrow I just just kind of wanted to do this segment um but it got me thinking a few things one the last few weeks last week or so I haven't really finished working and been like I'm glad I had I, I, I had a good day working today and I was thinking why that is, and it's because I haven't really had much of a plan. Now I don't, I don't love the idea, we've talked about this before, I don't love the idea of planning everything out because I want to be able to just to do things as the moment hits, but I think I need some kind of a plan in place. Like for each day, you know, I, we went through this a long time ago, but it's the, I do need to set time aside. Like, if we look at all the things that I want to accomplish in a week, I need to set different things aside. So, like, let's say I need to spend, I don't know, two sessions of two hours for planning videos or for coming up with new ideas. Like, I think that's part of what's stifling me is like, I have all these ideas, but they seem, the actual making of the video seems so far away because of the planning process that goes into it. And that shouldn't be the case because I like these ideas and I like the planning process. <laughs> but I've got those competing priorities in my mind of making this video, which yes, I get immediate return from it and it grows over time, but I also need to get the social, the clips made. And I'm just not sharing my time across the both of those. So I, I do need to set a plan, like a goal for each day of create like three or four clips to, you know, spend that time. Oh my gosh, it's green. How long have I been sat here for? <laughs> Rambling. Thank gosh there was no one behind me. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do when my parents are gone. I'm not gonna, I, I really hate the idea. I love the idea of being dedicated to whatever it is I'm doing. This 100% rule, which I think has really helped me as a dad, is whatever I'm doing, you do it 100%. Sorry if you've heard this before. And that has, I tell you one thing with having a kid, if you're not, if you're trying to do something else while you're needing to look after your child, you're not gonna enjoy either. You're not gonna get either done well. Your kid is gonna seem like a pest to you and it's not gonna work. But if you are wholeheartedly just doing one thing at a time, I mean, I'm not gonna speak for you. I guess I, I'm, I'm gonna speak for you. You will love it. And I'm speaking for you because I'm just speaking for myself. <laughs> like the very few times that I'm trying to like finish editing a video while looking after him, like something that needs to be finished on a certain time, it's awful. It's so hard. But 
just saying to my wife, look, hey, I need another 10, 15 minutes. Are you good with that? And then I can be done and I can focus completely. That makes things so much easier. All right, side note to this one. Dustin and I were having a chat the other day about uh, con like advertising in influencer marketing or creator marketing. We were essentially we were explaining that we can see we're predicting that brands are going to start to shift from the typical influencer or creator marketing style of video, which is here's a product, it does this, it goes this far up your ass, and then it can hang from your penis for this long. No one, what well, everyone cares about that information, but specs like it's a 1080p screen and. fiddles with your bum hole like that's just something I shouldn't have said but those types of things you're just not worried about just not bothered about so making content that is entertaining something that people can enjoy we see that as the future and we see that brands are starting to hopefully brands are starting to come along into that I saw this it was a subway podcast uh, interview that why is that a, why is that in my vocabulary subway interview a uh, dude interviewing a person at a subway and the guy being interviewed was saying I hate I want ads to go back to being just boring ads versus like the fun entertaining and I, why? why do you want that? that's weird is it because I don't I, I've, I haven't heard anyone else say that before but I'm trying to make sense of it I can understand why when you have some bullshit bull bag influencer that's making up shit in their life to try and sell you a product that they don't even use, they don't even like, don't care about. Like, let's do a target haul and they're taking this fucking walking robot thing that you could fit like a box of Pringles and a pack of Thin Mints in. And it's a little robot that follows them. Like, just are you actually going to take that to Target to try and put your shit in? No, you're just going to take a shopping cart and then stick it all in your car. Like, let's be real here. Like, this is the best thing. This, this is how I live my life. I'm like, dipshit, you got to send that in a box yesterday. You haven't touched it in your life. You've looked at that probably before and been like, what the f would anyone buy that for? Oh, you're paying me 10 grand? Yes, that's my best friend. No. Hate that. Like, let's just, which then brings me on to my next point. You see people talking about like uh, where they predict content to go in the future and all the things you need to think about. I've been stuck in this trap before and it's only I've only recently come out of it so you know now that I'm on my high horse I can speak like this but I think it, it actually genuinely it comes from a realization I think that we're all trying to figure out how to do social media the best and by trying to figure it out we're forgetting what makes us unique as individual people prime example dead mouse that wasn't a mouse that was a rabbit and that was the first thing that came to my mind. I think I thought squirrel, and then I thought rabbit, and I somehow came to the conclusion that it was a mouse. Yeah, so my TikTok videos, I'm thinking about how do I make them best for viewership. But these videos is just, there's nothing to it. It's just me spouting bollocks the whole day and sharing how I go about my work. Isn't that what we should be chasing? I'll tell you why it's not. Why it's not what people chase on social media. Number one, it's not sexy. Number two, it's not what everyone else is doing. So you then don't perceive it as being the right thing to do. And number three, it takes so much longer to grow doing it this way versus doing it the way that you know is proven and will get views. 
Okay, I would guarantee you that, I don't, well, I can't guarantee you that, but I would think, if, even if this was someone else's content, if you take this and you just cut out the best, best parts from it, and maybe add in some music at parts, you would, these views, there would be more views. And if you like tweak the thumbnails to be much better, you would find much more success faster. But that success probably won't be, or will not be the longevity. Oh, it's not, it's not the real you, right? Because you're cutting out the pauses, you're cutting out the bore, the boring parts, which are all you. Dang, dude. It's a lot, isn't it? I don't know if I have many more thoughts, but uh, I'll, I will bring the camera tomorrow so it's a bit better quality. I hope the audio isn't too bad for you. I hope it's coming through these. Bada bing, bada boom, see you tomorrow. I know this isn't a normal one, so just for the next like six days or so. Bada bing, ba bada boom. <laughs>